and YouTube and Facebook. Welcome all our Facebookers. Lovely to have you with us, TikTokers as well. The TikTokers have just joined us and a big dinky do to you as well. Scotty McClue with the massive, mighty megaphone in. How amazing is that? Tremendous stuff. Dinky do, I say. Lots and lots of people joining us. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scotty. It's Kareem. Uh, Kareem, how amazing are you? That is fantastic. We've just managed to pop up, and here you are. <laughs> yes, I got the notification. How amazing is that? And the notification's quite good, Kareem. Yes, came up on uh, the YouTube uh, notification there. Excellent. Now, we uh, also, the last few nights, we haven't had a lot of people on Facebook up till now because of one of the settings. Ah, right. So okay. that should make a difference as well, Kareem. So I don't know if you'll get a chance just to check out the Facebook feed as well. Excellent. I'll let you know. Amazing. Excellent. Just just to see how it's all going. It's sort of, as you know, work in progress, but we like that. Mm -hmm. Yes. No, I, these things take time, don't they? Just oh, to Kareem, I mean, I'm amazed that, uh, you know, we've got as far as we've got with all this. It's tremendous. You know, it really I'll is tremendous. Off to you, Scotty. You, you really, you're good with technology. You really oh, are. I don't know about that. But anyway, we're, we're in touch with the people, and that's what matters. <laughs> and we're joined by the TikTokers tonight. who are saying, hi, how's your day, Scotty? Best wishes from the United States. I mean, that's uh, fantastic, James, you know. <laughs> so there we go. Now, Kareem, what uh, about, uh, I've, I've popped up, I hope you don't mind, but I've popped up a little sample trailer, and uh, it's got your good self on it, actually, just to let everybody know some of the quality of what we hear on here. I actually seen it, liked it, and shared it, Scott. Oh, really brilliant. So you, you don't mind? Not at all, not at all. I thought, yeah. I thought, this is a wonderful call. I think we'll just have a wee snatch of that. <laughs> Excellent. No, thank now you then. That's good thing. Mm, not at all, sir, yes. No, yes, no it was to do with the Ormonarchy and the royal family. Yes. Uh, and we've had many discussions about that. And I don't know if you've seen uh, a video just now. Um, it's about Prince Charles. And he's up visiting Scotland, uh, some near a house in the state somewhere. And I was shocked. If you get a chance to see it, Scotty, try and see the video. Um, but what somebody shouted at the future king regarding family business to do with his brother, which we won't go into. In no, 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 I, I, I know what you mean. This sort of thing, I mean, obviously, uh, you know, it's, it's a little bit unsavory, but this sort of thing is absolutely shocking. And I think these half-witted idiots don't understand that the main function of the monarch herself is as curator and custodian of the crown. They get they get things just a wee bit wrong, Karim, because they think they would like to do that. And as for all this talk of privilege, what is the actual privilege apart from representing the crown and the people? What sort of extra privilege do they think the royal family actually have? Well, as we spoke in the past, Scotty, it's fifty six pence in your tax. That's what it costs us. The royal family is fifty six p a year. Yeah, that's nothing. No, absolutely nothing. Not yeah, for no, what we get back. <laughs> you know, not for what we get back, Kareem. Well, yeah, but we spoke about tourism, and I do think there's a lot of people that maybe I think something that the royal family could do, or the the palace could do a bit in terms of PR, because I think I'm not a lot of people we talk about the Commonwealth, but I suppose like in Scotland, do we actually look at it from another country's? point of view or perspective. I mean, I watched a comedian recently down in Australia and I never really, they were, they were doing a, like a, a show and it had a, the Queen in it, except someone dressed up as the Queen. But it was interesting seeing the Queen and how respected she was in another country and their perception, how they see her. Tremendous. That maybe that's something we could do more. What, here, what like, I would ask like people that. to do is have a look at the actual opening of the Scottish Parliament when the First Minister was Donald Dewar and Her Majesty the Queen was speaking, it's outstanding, Kareem. It's well worth a look. Yeah, 
Yeah. You know, well, yeah. you see, here's here's a dafty here on TikTok. Yeah. Royals have no place in a modern democracy. Now, that's just rubbish. The royals brought us a democracy in 1688. You know, I mean, that was the start of democracy, the, the, the end to absolute monarchy, the start to constitutional monarchy. And royals have a huge part to play because they're the curator and custodian of the crown. If we lived yeah. in America, it would be the stars and stripes. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't understand these people. It's their ignorance that shocks me. Yeah, yeah. That's the key word there. What you said, Scotty, ignorance. Of ignorance. Like, so much of that uh, that goes on. I mean, and I think once these life, people like, were properly informed, Kareem, they would hang their heads in shame at being yeah. rude about the Queen and the Crown. Yes. Well. Um, I had an argument yesterday with someone because they were claiming the monarchy is theirs, and this person was a unionist and was clearly from England. I said, yes. well, no, it doesn't kind of work like that. No, no, <laughs> no, no, no. It's very much since 1603, it's axiomatic that the Queen, or the monarch, is the monarch of Scotland and England, Northern Ireland and Wales. Mm -hmm. How does that work, Scotty, with the Commonwealth? I'm not 100% sure of it. Well, the Commonwealth, that. as the countries sought independence, all the African countries like Kenya, Uganda, Tanganyika, Tanzania now, yeah. um, you know, uh, Rhodesia now, Zimbabwe, uh, South Africa itself, as they all sought independence from the old empire, then they joined the Commonwealth. So there's 52 countries that Her yeah. Majesty represents. You know, so it's okay. it's it's moving from the old empire where they wanted to keep that association with what they called the mother country. Places like okay. the Solomon Islands and things like that, you know, very important. Canada, Australia, New Zealand, you know. Uh -huh. So they all wanted to be to be part of the Commonwealth, and the Queen is the head of the Commonwealth. So she's not really just the head of four countries, she's the head of another forty-eight on top of that. And I suppose that goes back to my point earlier on about, well, what I've just said about that person from England, just, well, she's ours over everyone else. It doesn't work like that. No. I think we need to see it in the perspective of, you know, these other countries, how they see the Queen and, you know, and they'll take a very different approach to compared to some ignorant people that live here within the UK regarding the monarchy as well. I think they'll take a more positive approach towards the royal family. Yes, yes, and so they should, you know, I mean, okay, you know, if, if, if people want to question certain members, but we've got to remember we're talking about human beings here, and the human being, the function of the monarch themselves is curator and custodian of the crown. And yeah. that's what they lose sight of. Yeah. Prince Charles, I know um, I've seen something on TV that when he does become king, he is going to make a lot of changes. And I think he's going to streamline the royal family. Um, there was talk about that because just now there's a lot of fact the, the members of the family, obviously, that are claiming, uh, well, entitled to... Uh, money. However, I, I do think he's going to streamline that down. So it'll be quite interesting to see. Well, I think do. what they're doing is probably streaming down the civil list. I mean, the office of monarch and the office uh -huh. of heir to the throne, i.e. Prince Charles himself, they're paid for through the duchies, Lancaster and Cornwall, of which politicians are the chancellors. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. You know, so you've got uh, you've got politicians as the chancellors of these things. So it's very much in there, and they bring in about twenty million apiece. Right. Okay. okay. And that goes to run the offices. The rest of the the setup comes from the civil list, and I think Prince Charles would probably want to slim the civil list down. Right. Okay. You know. I'll, I'll be, I'll be interested in when the time comes to see what he does and how he will be, want to be seen across uh, the UK and the Commonwealth as well. Um, and, uh, just interesting times ahead. Well, yeah, very interesting times ahead. I mean, in theory, if his mother, say his mother lived for another five years, that yeah. would make him, so what would that take us up to 2007, 2008, please? He would be approaching 80. Wow, yeah. You know, it's quite incredible. And um, the oldest king we had before that, I think, would have been 
60. I think Edward the Seventh was 60 when he took over from Queen Victoria. Right. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. They're all going daft a here. Age. A fair age. <laughs> a fair age. They're all going daft here. It's absolutely wonderful. The Rawls are the biggest. Here's, you see, here's a dafty. The Rawls are the right. biggest benefit scroungers on the planet, so he doesn't realize they don't scrounge anything at all. He just doesn't realize he's had his head stuffed with that. Tax dodgers, hang the lot of them. There's another idiot. Now, that yeah. idiot doesn't realize the Queen's just paid £98 million pounds in tax. Uh, Do you yeah, see? That sort of stuff. Another idiot. Uh, Mr. Scotty, welcome back. The Queen's very elderly lady now when she was here. A real grafter. Yes, yeah, she's fantastic. It's going to be modern. We have to change the face on the notes. Are you a historian? I am, Barsley. We respect the Queen here in Canada. One day I fear the monarchy will phase out. It will never phase out as long as the oh. crown is our symbol of authority. So there's an answer to some of them. Yes, absolutely. But again, it's putting good debate with people that are watching your show, Scotty. Ab absolutely, Kareem. It's fantastic. And thank you so much for raising it. Not at all. Listen, thank you, do, and I'll speak to you later on, Scotty. Bless you, thank you, do. Have a good evening. Thanks, Bye. Kareem. Bye. Tarala, there we are. Now there's Kareem, fantastic. Now Kareem, I think wouldn't mind me saying he has said before he is a nationalist personally, but he understands the importance of the crown. Now let's just see what's going on here. Fantastic. Scott, it's been a while. Are you still a Tory? Says Louis. <laughs> Where did you get that from, Louis? You're live on Scotty's phone. In who's that? Thank you, Scott. Ah, Glenn, how are we tonight? I'm good, thanks yourself. Yes, excellent. We're just watching some of the fascinating comments that are coming on here. Guys, if uh, you've just joined us, we're live on Facebook, we're live on Twitch, we're live on YouTube. Subscribe uh, and tap the bell. And we're also live on TikTok. And we've got Glenn uh, from Sheffield. I just want to say well done to your, you guys last night for beating Austria. Oh, what about that? One nil, yeah. How are you getting on with Poland? Yeah. Yeah, we're winning one nil. We've just scored. Oh wow! Harry Kane, yeah. And is it is it still going on, Glenn? There's about a quarter of an hour left, Scott. Yeah. Right, right. So there you are. So anyway, I'm not prepared to uh, put the yeah, phone in on hold for the football. No chance. It is on in background. People will have to come and join us. That's what it's all what about. Is, what a fabulous program! Yeah, definitely. What do you reckon to? New comedians now compared to olden days in Scotland. Well, I'll be honest with you. I don't know if you saw. I posted a little video just a few seconds. I said, problem with today's comedians, they're not funny. Definitely not. You know, no. now, I, I, I'll tell you where I was a bit upset. You know, I'm not, uh, I'm not being an advocate for everything he does, but Chubby Brown, the comedian, they've banned him in Sheffield, and 28,000 yeah, yeah. people have protested. Exactly. It's either one taste or another, and it's got to, you, you know, need to... No, you should never, we should never be banning anybody. I mean, the guy, it's... if you're offended, he's been around for a while, I don't know, 40 years or something, you know, and and I've seen him, I saw him in Blackpool, yeah. and, uh, and and people were just about ending themselves with laughter. It's a snobbishness, that's what it is, really. Yeah, it's... yeah. It's against the working people of this country. Tough nose, like tough, toughy noses sometimes. Toughy noses, tough. silver spooning yeah. gob. If, if you don't like it, turn it on or don't follow Turn it on, don't watch. It's the same with Scotty McClure. People say he shouldn't be saying that on radio. Why not? Yeah, it's all controversial and all that, whatever. You know, I'm too I controversial, know. shocking that, you know. Why, why, why are they watching? You've got a huge choice, particularly with radio and television. You can switch it off. If they're mourning about you, they're watching you. Of course they are. Listen, <laughs> see, when the when the morning was at its worst, I had almost yeah. quarter of a million listening for half hour. And they were the ones that were biggest fans of that. Yeah, they were the ones making, making all the racket and everything. They never missed a second of it. Yeah, they, they could were, tell you every the, last word. They, they love the controversy, do not they? Oh, yes, Absolutely. Scotty, I serve Her Majesty, says Len Zock. I think when it comes to it, I think 
there's a lot of people just keeping quiet about how good you are, but deep down, you know, you're a legend, Sky. Ah, uh, you're a lovely man, Glenn. Here's somebody yeah. said, Johnny Boy Johnny on the TikTok. Sorry, Scott, yeah. you just joined. Who are you speaking to? Is this a new thing? I think Johnny Boy Johnny, we've got the phone in on and we've invited the TikTokers to be part of it. Put you on your tele, put him on YouTube. That's it. TikTok, YouTube, Facebook. I've shared you on Facebook anyway, so you know, for my friends to follow you if they haven't realised that you're back. Hey, what about this, Glenn? Here's a half wit on TikTok, right? You're needing a heart attack, Scotty. I'll keep it clean, Scotty. Who, who comes out with that? Another human being. Scotty, I'll keep it clean, but you know what I'm thinking, do you? I know what you're thinking, my boy. There, there really are some, there's seriously something wrong with him in there. There's something wrong with that lad, isn't there? I mean, think another DVD, Blu-ray art. That's it. We'll get get another one out for you. And dinky yeah, do. Dinky do, Scotty. Dinky do, my boy. Enjoy. Work anyway, Scott. Enjoy your evening, la. Bless you. Ta -ta, Ta -ta now. There's Glenn from Sheffield. What a great guy. Now, let's get your comments sorted out here. Uh, Mon the Independence. Yeah, we'll be having the Queen as her head when we're independent. The Legend Scott is back live sending love from Blackpool. Do you remember Woodstock Festival? Well, I'm not quite as old as you, Angela, but I do remember seeing the movie. You lower the tone by calling people dafties when they disagree. Steve, no, no. No, anybody coming out with a comment like that is a dafty. I am raising the tone because I'm educating the dafty. You see what I mean? So there we are. It's not opinion. I'll give you the facts. There we are. Uh, what have we got here? Hi, Scotty. Tell the wife Sue to give up the cigarettes, says God, and she wants us to be. Sue, give up cigarettes, lovey. Dinky do, Scotty. Good evening, John. Welsh says, good evening, Scotty. Hi, Scotty. How are you, says Susan Shaw. A shout out for wee smurf, Julie. Yes, a good evening, float high. Jerry, lovely to have you with us. A very good evening. Scotty, you legend, says Louis. Hi, Scotty. You're looking dinky do from Jara John. Jara John, lovely to have you with us. E. There, what have we got here? I didn't get my notification till 10 past 10, Scotty. What's going on? Oh, yes, you need to write to your MP. Um, so there we are. Did you hear about a fan of yours, Scotty? Scrap the House of Lords, Louis. Never scrap the House of Lords. Two reasons. They are worth their weight in gold, and they keep the House of Commons in order. Ah, oh, dear, oh, dear. Educating the people, Scotty McClue. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching the Scotty McClue Massive Mighty Mega Phone In. And we are live right across the internet. We're streaming simultaneously on YouTube, on Twitch, and on Facebook Live. We're also on TikTok Live. Dinky you do. You okay, mate? Thank you. Who's sending me... 500 TikToks. Wow, that is generous. I thank you. So, Steve, I'm raising the tone for you. Is your cap actually a secret weapon? It looks dangerous if thrown at high velocity. Yes, indeed. Odd job has got nothing on Scotty McClue. I can tell you that. Welcome, welcome. Good evening, says Alex Robertson, one of our finest actors. Alex, I hope you are well, and I hope the work is starting to come in, because I know how tough it's been for the acting profession. It's tough enough anyway, but to add a pandemic and shut all the theatres. Oh, bless you, my dear fellow. There we are. Come on, Kareem, hurry up. Let's get a chance of a blather too. Where are you, Numpty Heat? Have you lost your tongue? Kevin Bridges is uh, is funny. Shout out for Julie Dinky Do, Mr. Chat Scotty. Oh, it's Scotty Nayclus is Dean. No, Scotty Maclu Dean. There we are. Yes, or 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 what else could I call you? Keen. It's Twitter. It's no Twitch. No, no, we're on Twitter. We, we've got Twitter. We're at Scotty McClue on Twitter. Go and follow me. So there you go. Fantastic. Now then, who have we got here? Uh, hello, Glenn, says Lenzok. Dinky do. Uh, I'm not the biggest lover of the Queen in the world, but there's no need for people to insult her. Now, Hoob, she's an outstanding lady. She should never be insulted. There we are. Roy Chubby is so funny. Well, Lenzok, yes. 
I love the Queen, leave her alone, says Geodog. Geodog from South Africa. Thank you for your message of concern, Geodog. It was so good of you. Fantastic stuff. And here we are live and the phone in going on as well. Thank you to the beautiful people. As an Irishman, I've got quite a bit of respect for the Queen. La Hoop, they love, I mean, I know there's been ups and downs with the British monarchy and Ireland in the past, but they loved having the Queen in Ireland. Loved her going in to see the President. Everyone's too sensitive these days. Comedians can be free to say what they want, and they should be. If you don't like the comedian, don't go and see them. Doon the swanee for anybody who's against the Queen. That's what I shall do, Geodog. I shall dump them. They shall become toast. Give us a call as soon as you can. Can everybody share the TikTok? Now, I've only got 1,000 likes so far. Can everybody on TikTok get tap, 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 tap on their screens? Everybody watching YouTube, please subscribe and tap the bell. Everybody watching Twitch, follow Scotty McClue. We had no followers the other day. We've now got 55. Scotty underscore McClue on Twitch. Follow me on Twitter at Scotty McClue. Follow me on Facebook and share everything right now. Can we have a share fest? Who's your favorite stand-up in times gone by? So there we are. Says Aiden. Oh, so many Aiden. Fantastic. What have we got? And uh, did you hear about Welsh, Scotty? I did you okay. It took me by complete surprise. Uh, can you tell me what happened? So there we are. Follow us as soon as you can. So I spoke to him last week. Uh, who have we got here? My dad said he used to watch you on the radio. Well, I think he would listen to me on the radio and watch me on the telly. There we are. It's Twitter or no Twitch. It's on Twitch as well, Paul. Yes, it's been tough with the theatre's closed, says Alex. Pantomime soon. The amount of interviews I've done has been good to fill the time. Alex, we need to get you live on here. I can take live people on here. So if you're up for a wee interview, we'll do that. Uh, Scotty, I hope you're having a good day. Fantastic. 500 TikToks from UOK. UOK, thank you for your generous, generous gift. So very kind of you. Educating the people so long as they agree with you, Scotty. Scrap the monarchy and the laws. We well, see, Steve, that's just idiocy. Idiocy and ignorance. Now, that's not me being rude. That's me being honest with you. Yes, only an idiot and an ignorant person would say anything like that. As long as we have the crown as a symbol of authority, the Scottish monarchy is 2,347 years old. Not many people know that. Fantastic. Dinky do go. Fantastic. Do you know the band, Queen? Yes, of course I remember them. Uh, if you want to scrap the old Scottish layers, Fat Spoon. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Scotty, it's me again. Oh, Glenn. Well, you're allowed I two thought, calls. Two calls, definitely. I thought I was getting my second call in there. Uh, what do you reckon to Brendan O'Carroll? He's a great comedian, isn't he? Very funny. Mrs. Brown's boys. Oh, awesome. Now you're talking. Yes. Now, I mean, yeah. we'd be very upset if something like that got banned. Oh, definitely. Do you know? Yeah, absolutely. And and I mean, you know, they, they like a bit of fresh no. chat. And uh, Bottom, did you remember Bottom? We had Ian Richard Scott. Yeah, Bottom. Well, that was the uh, start of alternative stuff like Alexis Sale and Rick Mail and people like that. The young ones. The young ones. Was... Yeah, were well, you brought up with that? I was, yeah. Here's a guy called Mickey who says, no Irish man respects the Queen. A complete and utter fabrication. Everybody in Ireland adores the Queen. Oh, Scotty, they're just unbelievable people. You know, I mean, I mean, I mean, I remember Martin McGuinness. He loved her. Yeah. If you don't like her, just keep it to yourself. And it's got He's maybe saying that Martin McGuinness wasn't an Irishman then. I don't think they know what side of the toilet they sit on. Scotland. They don't. They, they, I wouldn't trust them to sit right way around, not love. Spoon feed them. Absolutely. Silver spoon think, feed them. I think what it is, they just like a bit of controversial talk. 
talk, don't they? Well, we do do a bit of that, Glenn. Let's have it straight. They, they like to have, they like to see it from a different opinion, don't they? Yeah, that's they're it. They like they like to right. see what's what. Their opinions right, your opinion don't count, does it? That this is this is what it is, you know. And everyone's opinion counts on here, but I do exactly. have to put people right. I think like they don't like they don't like straight ways, do they? No, they don't like being told. Some of these people can't take a telling, Glenn. Discipline. Yep, that's what it's about. Uh, Scotty, I'd love you to get your old listener callers back on, you know, from 90s. Well, I think they'll come now, you see. Well, wait till I tell you. I don't know if you heard me talking to Kareem, but there was a setting missing last night on Facebook, oh, yeah. and I've sorted it. So it was actually only going out to limited people. So now we've got it going out to all the public. Cause I, I couldn't understand why we had a trickle on Facebook and we're doing yeah. so well on YouTube and we're doing so well on TikTok and we're doing yeah. so well on Twitch. So you weren't doing so well on Facebook? Well, until I sorted it last night, I had a look and said, hang on a minute, what's up here? What's to do like? Bloody hell, You know, so that's good. And I've seen a difference in the figures already tonight. Once word gets out, you see, problem is, if people don't know about you, they say, oh, I'd love that. I didn't know that were on. What's it well, on? How'd you get it? Where's the been since 90s? Absolutely. It's all happening online now. I mean, it's going to get even better, isn't it, as time goes on? I do feel sorry in a way. I know I shouldn't because they don't deserve my empathy and sympathy, but I do yeah. feel sorry for a lot of the radio stations and a lot of the television stations that can't understand how big a phone-in is. You yeah, know? I mean, I've seen your audience when you did that show with Nicky Campbell. Yeah. Right. Massive. Massive. And that was national television. Exactly. I'd like you to get to that platform again one day. Yeah, well, I think we will, and I think it'll happen quite quickly because it's actually happening now as we speak. With, with small oaks in it and all that. Little oak trees, great, great, from little acorns, great oaks grow. Oh, grow. Yeah. Nicely. And we love our trees in Sheffield. The longer it goes on, Scott, eh, the better it'll get. Uh, that's it. It'll mature like a fine wine. Definitely. You've like I said, you've got a long way to mature because you're only in your 20s, Scott. Eh? Well, I still don't know what I'm going to do when I grow up, you see. So it's... <laughs> technology, technology these days is just phenomenal. Isn't well, it? what we're watching right now, we are making internet history. This mm. is mind-blowing, Glenn. If you would have, if this had been around in 90s... Oh! Yeah. Could you, you imagine know? this? Plus, LMFM. Les. So now... All of them. Tony the Scouser, Tard Lies for Dinnington. Uh, uh, old, the old man, um, old key, is it old G.I.T.? Um, that one, the old key, him who used to moan with you. Oh, him that used to moan on, yeah, old geek, Susie yeah. Pussy, all of them. Susie Pussy, that lot, the full bit. Mr. Martin. Fantastic stuff. Yeah. When she says she, she, she went up online, that eight months, eight months pregnant. That's right. She's, what's she like? Now, listen, I'm going to have to dash, but dinky do, and you catch up with all football. Let us know what's what. It's one no still, Scotty, to England. I'll be looking out for your comments. Nice one, Scotty. Nice one, my boy. Dinky do. See you, Lala. Fantastic. That's our Glenn. What a great guy. Two calls. You are allowed two calls at a push. Right, who have we got here? Good evening, Sasa Steve. Andrew. Andrew Downey. Good start listening to you in the cast again, Scotty. This is top chit-chat. Andrew, this is quality. We're only scratching the surface with this, Scotty. Absolutely, Andrew. Uh, I'm going to sue my local shop for 10 years. I've been buying my lottery tickets. Not once have they given me right numbers. <laughs> You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hey, Scotty, it's me, myself, and I. Again. Professor Numptyhead, what happened to uh -huh. you tonight? Well, uh, Numptyhead phoned them again. He can't remember. Now, Numptyhead, did you hear what happened with the setting on Facebook? Did I tell you? No, I didn't hear 
No, you didn't. Mr. Right, we were only going out to a trickle of folk on Facebook, and I thought, now when I used to go on Facebook, I could be joined by thirty thousand right away. So I thought something's not something's not right here, and it was a setting; it wasn't set to public. Aye, aye. Anyway, Scott, I now, have a question for you. Go on. It's about your phone number. Yes. Right, you've got it 9795. Yes. Is there any reason? It was the best number. I looked at all the numbers. I thought that's one of the best for remembering. Well, what's on me? The phone number 100.3T101.1. What are you on about? What's wrong with the number you've got? Why are you always wanting something different to what you've got? Scott, your best times were on 100.3 to 101.1. Yes, absolutely, but we're not on that now. It, 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 yeah, but it might have escaped your notice. We're not on that now. We're on the internet, on YouTube, Twitch, Aye. and Facebook, and TikTok. Aye, anyway. Listen, Scotty, I've got proof that aliens exist. Yes. Right, well, I well, knew that as soon as I heard you. Well, do you want to hear about it? Go on then. Spill the beans. I hope this is not a lot of nonsense. I've proven that human beings are alien to this planet Earth. Right. And I'll tell you why. The, the animals that, that are here on planet Earth only take, what, nine weeks to uh, get the girl and be born. But here, we take nine months. Yes. Yes. So nobody has looked into it and decided that we must be alien to the planet. So, are you saying that the human race are the actual original aliens? They must be, because it take nine months to uh, come together and be born. And animals take nine weeks? Nine weeks, guy. How amazing, Numpty. I'm going to put this to the nation, and we shall get to the bottom of it. Okay, listen, my second call will be a little past, so don't hang. Didn't, didn't, answer didn't I take it? Didn't I bother taking it? Listen, aye, you enjoy aye. that number because it's nice and easy <laughs> for you to remember. 9795. Put your phone down. Dinky do. There we are. That's Numpty Heat. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? It's Stuart from Coatbrig, mate. Stuart, we love to hear you from Coatbrig. How are you? Are you Dinky do? Hello? Hello there, Scotty. Hello, Stuart. How are you? I've talk, uh, yes, I've talked to you before, and, I, and I've asked Stacey before. Uh, the reason I'm phoning, I was uh, watching uh, Nicholas Sturgeon tonight. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, I'm going to ask a serious question. Do you think, because of the, the situation with the COVID-19, I know there's not a lot, but it's, it's going up and down, but he's actually got a warning. Uh, do you think... So put us on lockdown or something like it? Uh, well, it'll be very interesting to see. I mean, it can't keep going up and up and up. So something's got to happen. Now, if everybody's vaccinated, you know, I mean, I don't want to go into details about this because it's not popular on the Internet, if you see what I mean, because it's talked about so much in mainstream media. But if everybody's vaccinated, just very briefly, and it keeps going up and up and up, then they are going to have to do something. Do you know what I mean? Aye. Scotty, did you, I know, I mean, I, I turned 50 right here, I turned 50 right here, and my mum was coming up for 80, and he, he hardly goes out, and she's got us for 80, and she's frightened to do it. I say, mum, you don't need to be frightened to get it. No. But what I think, Scotty, right, you, and you know, because be, you're older than me, do you not think it's just going to be like the flu, that people are just, well, I think, what I mean, already, um, you know, a lot of the immediate danger has passed because with the vaccination, what you're getting is that you're getting less people really seriously ill with it. That's right, yes. Oh, that's, that, that's 100%. But I think the problem is, Scotty, uh, I think the real problem is 
it doesn't help that uh, some of the statements tonight that Boris Johnson played just uh, completely wrong. I mean, he's not thinking, he's not thinking, he said, he's, not, he's definitely not thinking ahead. Oh, I think he's got a decent his hair. He, he, that's how he sticks his hair. Everybody was well, he sticks it. his hair, but the only thing is, I think, to be honest, what's happening is it's playing into the hands of those that want independence. Do you see I what I mean? The more nonsense that's coming out of Westminster, the less interested people are in that. That's right, Scott. I mean, I, I've been talking to you for a good couple of years when I, when I changed job. The last time I talked to you, you probably remember I told you a joke, remember on it? Oh, I did. A wee back, yes. A wee back. Aye. Aye, I, I was followed, you know, that crowd, but a lot of, the good thing about it, I, I'm, I'm good with all good to phones and all that. And but listen, you know, John, what are you thinking of the new phone in? Are you liking it? Do you know, it's a hundred percent. I think it's absolutely brilliant, and I definitely love the bonnet. I love it. My dad had one of them. The right. He passed away. Uh, I, he passed away. He. I'll he bless him. He actually built. This is interesting. We story, uh, Scotty. My my dad actually built the red Ford, red Ford plaques in Glasgow. Wow, the red road flats. Yes. Yeah. 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 That was the one he, he was in charge of that box. That's yeah. because the workmanship was so good they couldn't weaken them. That's right, aye. <laughs> As I can say, that's, uh, I guess I love the bunny. I think you're showing up so it's tremendous and you should be proud of yourself. Well, John, it's lovely to hear you and we'll catch up again soon and dinky do. Thank you, Scotty. Take care, Paul. Thank you, my boy. Love to the coat brig. There we are. There's Geodog on TikTok. I can get a genuine claim more, but $2,000 is a little rich for me. It's a little rich for any of us for a claim more. And Geodog, you you can take care of yourself. You don't need a claim more. That's a two-hander. That's like the broadsword. There we are. Uh, now, what have we got here? Uh... Oh, fantastic stuff. You've made it to FYP. Congrats. Thank you, Hugo. When you were in Clyde One when I was a kid, I recognized your voice. Isn't that fantastic? You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. It's David. How are you? You're right. David, how lovely to have you with us. I can't believe how successful tonight is. And I told you there was a setting missing on Facebook. Yeah, 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 and I couldn't understand it because I've popped up just on Facebook before and attracted 30,000 viewers. So, so I thought, what's going on here? So anyway, there was just a trick on. I looked at it and it was set to uh, to uh, not to public. You're making sense because you know what I just noticed about 10 minutes ago? Go on. I was, try I was trying to phone in and it's good that I can't get through because other people's getting through. I getting better and better. Well, I mean, listen, David, I'm not wanting to crow, right? But yes. I, there are big television stations and big radio stations, and they're oh. frightened to put on a phone in because they can attract callers. Now, I yes. pop up on the internet with my Facebook oh. virtually on private, and we can't get a, a, a word in edgeways for calls. It's, it's so good, Scotty. You see, this is the thing. Was it a bit, okay, I know you still love the radio, maybe in the future, but you don't need this anymore. No. This is good. It's good. What yeah. we're doing yeah. now beats television, radio, the whole lot, hands yeah. down. Big time, Scotty. Honestly, the radio's went to kaputs. Forget about it. We like the music, but they need talk shows. They won't have it. So, do you know what? Do it again. <laughs> well, well, sucks, but I mean, I can't help feeling sorry for television and radio. They start new companies. Nobody watches. Nobody listens, and they don't understand why. And the answer what? is, you're not in touch with the people. Yeah, they're not. Of course, they're not. They're only interested in themselves, Scotty. Well, listen, David, here's one for you. If you're only interested in yourself, that's all you'll end up with. Exactly, yeah. You've got it in one, you know what I mean? And again, oh, I, 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 just, I didn't know you were actually on tonight, Scotty. Neither did I until I looked and I thought, here I'm on. I, I just picked my phone up. I didn't hear the wee ping ping. Can I speak to a friend about the word for the spoon earlier on? Well, I think, I think we were actually two or three minutes late in starting tonight. Right, oh, I see. Well, that is fine. So I'll take the hit for that by the time I get everything set up, you know. 
Just, just do that, it's fine. So, it's not going to be a Friday, Sunday, maybe, the Wednesday. Well, right? here's what I'm thinking at the moment, David. You tell me yeah. what you think. Last week we popped up every night because we were setting up the technical side. So it's a bit of an experiment, right? Now, um, the big phone-ins, I think, should be a Friday night and a Saturday night at 10 o'clock sharp. Now, 10 o'clock during the week's too much for... If I said to you, right, I, I know sometimes maybe you get tired, but people all get tired. Oh, everybody gets tired, yeah. Sports as well. But David, I never, ever, ever get tired of talking to the people. Oh, no, you, you don't. But I mean, obviously, you know, you know, think about it. I mean, can I help? But you know, I hate it sometimes think about maybe a two-hour stretch. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. That, that, would, that would be even better, but it is. It's good. It's good. Well, you've, you've got to remember, listen... Uh, you know, this this is something like a fortnight old now. You know, there's no bad two weeks and everybody's starting to find it and tune in. That's correct, that's good. And for that, and for that idiot who said you should take a heart attack, his mother should put him right up there, you know? Imagine that, you should take a heart attack, he says to me. What a half wit. That's ridiculous. You know? Uh, he should be too copy the face of the air. Yeah, right. I, I think he's suffering from terminal flatulence. Oh, yeah, he, that's he, he bad. His mother should put him under a taxi. He could actually fart himself to death. I honestly, that, I, can't, I can't believe that, Scott, you know. And, okay, and, and, and Numpty Heads, I love Numpty Heads. He's, he, he, he's getting sad somehow. Num, Numpty Heads a beautiful man. He's just, he's oh, just yeah. completely bananas. Text me each other. I'm getting to know him anyway. And he texted me tonight when you were on. He said, I'm going to go and speak to Scotty. Aye. If it wasn't for Numpty, he was the most generous man because we were having a laugh. This goes back maybe 10, 20 years. And he says, I says, I'll get my own phone in some days. He says, if you get that, I'll eat my own bonnet. I'll pay for it myself, he says. And sure enough, I says to him last week, well, we're live. I've kept my half of the deal. Just joking. Just joking. And he goes, oh, don't you worry, Santa's on his way. <laughs> and then I looked at the GoFundMe account and he'd put in a whack. He, he asked me to come for a holiday and, you know, things that he does when he goes on holiday. Aye. I'm, I'm, he said, come for a holiday. <laughs> He's great. He's great. Listen, <laughs> lovely to hear your good self and dinky-doo. <laughs> Dinky do to David, fantastic. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue and we are live on the internet. This is massive. You're live on Scotty McClue's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. It's just a wee quick phone call here. It's um, Callum from Glasgow. Callum, how lovely to hear from you. I only need a first name and that's or just a handle. And it's lovely to have you with us. It's just a wee quick phone call. Julie, she fell last night, broke her leg coming off the bus. Oh, no. And she's going through a big operation tonight in her leg. It's just to wish her well. Wish her well, Callum. What a lovely thought we'll send. Love, blessings and prayers to Julie. Yeah, she fell and broke her leg coming off the bus. Right, see, when you're talking to her, tell her Scotty McClure and the rest of the world are asking. Absolutely. You tell her that. Will you do that? Thank you, mate. I will do, mate. Thank you. Will Thank you. Just, that's always phoning up for a that's lot of people. Fabulous. Thanks, buddy. All the best. Dinky do, Callum. There we go. Right. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? Oh, Scotty. Yes. How's it going, my man? How you doing? Who's that? Hey, my name's Callum. Callum, Dinky do. That's two Callums in a row. Aye. Oh, I'm the best Callum. The best Callum. That was a lovely Callum we're done. Hi, hi. Uh, I, 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 I want to talk about something. Go on. Sorry, what did you say there? No, no, go on. I'm listening. I've was want, I been wanting to ask you for a long time. See the photos in the background? What do they mean? The photos in the background? Uh, yeah. they've been, they were gifts to me, presented to me. One is a graduation and the other was when I joined Red Rose Radio. 
So that one there is red rose gold, the black and white one. And then there's a thistle that was given to me called decoupage. And uh, that's from a lady who loves Scotland. And the other one, can you see Lord Reith the Labrador? I don't know if you can actually see them. I don't think you can. The one behind you? The one that's behind me, yes. There's the dog. Can you see him? Yeah. There he is. If I dip down my head, you can see him. We'll get the camera better placed so you can see a bit more. Yeah. But there were presents. Lovely to have you on with us, Callum. Yeah, I just thought I'd ask you because it's been quite a, a while. Absolutely. And are you enjoying the phone in? I have been, been, been listening for quite a long time, man. You're some man, sir. You are, Callum. Lovely to hear you. And dinky do. Aye, dinky do, man. Dinky do, man. There we are. Fantastic. Give us a call as soon as you can. What's everybody say? Scotty McClure, you've mastered the phone in, big chap. Scott, lovely to have you with us. There's Frank. Take care. Time for me to go. Dinky do from Australia. I look forward to the next time. Ian says, Scotty. Uh, did you ever hear from her? Anna. Anna sadly passed away. So there we go. You're watching Scotty McClue, and we're live on the internet. Hello? You're live on Scotty McClue. Who's that? Hello? I'm turning the background noise down. Turn that background noise down, numpty head. Right. Your ears will be burning. Now, listen, has anybody tell you you look like Paul Brun with that new cap? Paul Brun with a new, do you like the new cap? Aye, but listen, Scott, I've got a more serious question. Go on, serious question. I thought I'd use my simple wisely and ask you, Scotty, this copyright nonsense. Yes. When did the copyright come into effect and does it affect Oh, Johnson's son? Yep, music on the internet. If you're playing music on the internet and you're not licensed to play it, then they will give you what's called a copyright strike. Now, right. say it was... No, listen, Scotty, come here, listen. Now, Al Johnson, right, he was gone about before copyright was invented. No, no, music, there's copyright on music. No, it's like happy birthday, Scotty, you can't Happy yes, birthday. you can. It's very heavily copyrighted. Don't you be filling us with mints like your pies. So there you go. I'm telling you, it's very heavily Don't copyrighted. You. So you can't yeah, do these things. Like so yeah. now you know. You talk nothing but rubbish. I'm talking a lot of sense. Your call's a load of pash. You said it was going to be, mind you. Fantastic. How are you, says everybody? Oi, oi. I managed to get a Bennett. Uh, in a fair condition, it came with a full scabbard. Ah, Geodog, you could be the new Jerry Springer. How lovely. There we go. I like you very much. I thank you. Hola from Afghanistan. It sounds fun. It's great fun. That made me chuckle. I've missed these callers. It sounds like Jamesy from Rab C. Nisbet. Elephants gestation periods nearly two years. Are they aliens? Weekends get more videos. Good evening, float eye. Scotty, I'm lost now. Who's Numpty Heat? Scooty Boo's Numpty Heat is one of my great benefactors and has given me some lovely gifts on the GoFundMe, which you'll see the link on YouTube up at the top right. Dinky do, we love you. Have you ever clapped a Highland coo? I've clapped lots of coos. Well done, coo, for being Highland. There we are, dinky do. Julie, get well. I never knew you could phone in for a sort out. What's the number? Scooty Boos. The number's 0141628 9795. There we are with a Scouse accent. So there you are. Uh, illusion. You'll hear my wonderful accents on the internet. Hope you're well, Scotty. John Boy from Port Glasgow. Wonderful. Aha! The best, Callum. How are you, buddy? Dinky do. Alan says, hi, Scotty. A meteor landed last night. Was that a meteor aircraft? Yeah, they're first class aircraft. The meteor. The gloss. Is it the Gloucester meteor? He's full of shecht, Scotty. He is full of shecht, Andrew. You're 100% correct. There we are. Float eye, phone in, dinky doo, says Scott. Scott, I'm so glad you found us. I'm so glad you're enjoying us. Can we all do some sharing, please? Guys, whatever you're watching, whether it's TikTok, YouTube, 
Twitch. If you're watching on Twitch, Scotty underscore McClue, follow me on Twitch. We had 55 followers at the start. I would like to see that go up on Twitch. Get following, guys, and then what we can do is become a Twitch affiliate. I'd done virtually nothing on Twitch till about a couple of weeks ago when we started the phone-in. Tremendous stuff. Share the live and follow me on TikTok. Everybody, thank you for your lovely gifts. If you're wanting to stick in a quid, I believe there's a dollar sign at the bottom left of the chat, uh, somebody told me. So there we are. That's how we do it. How lovely to hear from you all. Now, we've got about just under 10 minutes left. So use it well and use it wisely, I say. Lovely to have you with us on TikTok. TikTokers, get following on TikTok as soon as you possibly can. It's vital. Geodog, thank you very much for your good wishes. And I love to hear all about your stuff. There we are. Now then, good evening. Good evening. Alan Brown, good evening. Alan, I didn't know when you called the other day. You must be just under friends on Facebook. There was a setting not right. And now we've sorted out the setting. Everybody should be able to see this live on Facebook. Thank you very much for your wonderful comments. I'll get round to that very soon. There we are. So if you're watching on Facebook, wonderful. If you're watching on YouTube, please do subscribe and tap the bell. This is Scotty McClue's massive, mighty mega phone in. This is the big one. We're almost two weeks old, but most of that's been technical rehearsals. Our first big phone in was last Friday night, Saturday night, 10 o'clock sharp. And then during the week, we could pop up at nine for a blether. That's what it's all about, just to let everyone know. So can every single one of you play your part and tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue live on TikTok, YouTube, and, of course, Facebook. Yes, indeed, and Twitch. There we are. Floatai, hashtag Floatai, first lord of the internet. Get the music box out, Scotty. Give us a sing song. Good night, Scotty, says Susan Shaw. Good night, Susan. Lovely to have you with us. Five more minutes left. I'll give you a tune. La Hoop says, tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Shout out for James and Richard the Storman, says Keaton. A meteor from space, says our wonderful Angela. There we are, dinky do. Yes, indeed, you mad bam. Thank you, Mac, for your beautiful gifts. That's so much appreciated. Max just sent me five yases. Yes, thank you, Mac. That is so very kind of you on the TikTok. All you beautiful TikTokers that have sent me diamonds, yachts, um, sun cream, sunglasses. What else do you send me? Perils. Um, uh, uh, paper lanterns, I think, was another one. Confetti, all that stuff. Uh, hi, Scotty from Scotty. David Scott, dinky do. Good night, Susan. Get the music box out, Scotty. Would you all like a quick tune on the squeeze box? There we are. Right. I have it here. I'll give you a tune on the squeeze box. Yes, indeed. Uh, fantastic. Right. Are we ready? <clears throat> Yeah. <laughs> 
right, oh, guys, did you do? Fight on, Scotty, says the wonderful Andrew Downey. Andrew, I so love sharing my success with you. This has been huge tonight. We've got five minutes left of the phone in, I say to you. Quality, Scotty, I thank you, guys. Legend says lush. Give us the Titanic song. Oh, we don't want to go down with that one. I can't tell you. Beautiful, says Andrew. Did you like that? Anybody know the name of the tune? Give us a call. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? That was good, Scotty. Yeah, I love the space box. Did you like the old squeeze box, Davey? Amazing, seriously. Right, before you go quickly, I'm going to send you something on your GoFundMe page on Friday, okay? Oh, you're a naughty boy. You don't have to. No, but I want to. I'll do that on Friday. But I love that tune. <laughs> there, well, I'll dedicate that to you and dinky do. Thank you, dear David. What a lovely man, David. He really is. He's been so good to Scotty McClue. Dinky do from Scott. Thank you, Louise. Yes, indeed. Take a bow, sir, says the wonderful Margaret Gibb. I thank you, Margaret. Good evening, Scotty, says Shug do. Susan Shaw has given me the clap. Thank you very much, Susan. Very, very kind of you. How many instruments can you play, Scotty? Oh, not too many, Alan. I can do a little bit on the piano and the pipe organ. And you'll see that if you go into YouTube and put in Scotty McClue Piano, I will teach you to play the piano in seven minutes. There we are, and it's live on YouTube for all of you. I love your music. Thank you, Lush. Just beautiful as always. La Hoob, you are a man of such quality. Quality Scotty says R500. Gaz. There we are. Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. If you're watching on TikTok, please get following as quickly as possible. So much to talk about and so little time to do it in. Seriously, what can't you do? I'm being serious. La Hoop, there's so many things I can't do. Scotty McClue has just scratched the surface. We need nine lives, La Hoop. I'll have to come back as a pussycat. Follow us as soon as you can, guys. Thank you very, very much. It's been a blast tonight. I'm going to say bye to the TikTokers, and then I'll say bye to all the phone-in people. Wonderful show tonight. Dinky-doo. TikTokers, take great care of your dear selves. Bless you. Bless you, I say. That's the TikTokers gone. They've gone. We'll